Brace yourselves, Kamala Harris has a new job. No, she's not stepping down as VP. Biden's tapping her to save humanity from the robots. <laughs> Today, she's rubbing elbows with top tech CEOs about the risks of artificial intelligence. Let's hope Kamala is excited about this as she has other topics. Who doesn't love a yellow school bus, right? Can you raise your hand if you love a yellow school bus, right? Like I like to think about a lot of things in the context of a Venn diagram. I love Venn diagrams. Always ask, is there a Venn diagram for this? I'm telling you, it, it, it's fascinating when you do. I just love the idea of exploring the unknown. You're gonna literally see the craters on the moon with your own eyes. Kamala's big takeaway from the meeting is that AI could infringe on civil rights and erode public trust and faith in democracy. Dana, where was Joe Biden during this big meeting with these AI guys? He stopped by. Oh, he did? Yeah, he stopped by to just, just monitor. Just say hi. I was thinking, about, you remember in school when the principal would come into your class and stand <laughs> oh, yeah. in the back and you know your teacher was being watched and then everyone would try to be on their best behavior oh, yeah. for a minute? I think oh, that's yeah. what happened. I'm just curious, are these the same CEOs that she talked to about expanding their operations in Latin America to help oh, prevent immigration. That never happened. I wonder, I wonder what those CEOs were thinking. Maybe not the same ones. Who knows? Um, I love the story about her taking over because it reminds me of bringing out the child actors like mm -hmm. we just saw in the NASA video. Here's the thing. What made Biden think this is a good idea? Because what in her track record has said, this is a great, very serious problem that she can help solve. It, she didn't, immigration, that was not going to be it. Voting rights? Not it. Now, they do give her a lot of credit on abortion, although I sort of feel like that is already self-perpetuating and you don't really need to do too much on that to get Democrats to vote along that, those lines. I think that with AI, I'm not sure how Washington's going to help. I, I would like to think that Washington could help, but I'm pretty sure that all of us are just going to be slaves to the robots and then we'll all be unified and not be polarized anymore. <laughs> Greg, uh, the president said he wanted to have Kamala handle this because he wanted to elevate her profile. Mm. Yes. How nice of him. Yes, how soon before she makes it about race, right? <laughs> she already did. Oh, she did? Oh, she did. It's, 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 this is going to affect civil rights. Yeah, it's like, I, I, I don't, yeah, I guess that's, that, I, I kind of saw that as civil rights for everybody, but maybe, I don't know. I think, um, I, th I can wing a lot of topics. I can't wing AI. And she wings everything. And the fact is, artificial intelligence is too important a threat and a challenge to our government to go out and get drunk the night before, then sleep in, and then wing it, which is what I did for everything. It's not a quarterly report on travel expenses. It's A, frickin' I. I mean, it's really important. It's insane. This is what every major intellect describes as the largest serious existential threat of our time and they appoint the least thoughtful person who's arrogant enough to think that she doesn't have to prepare for anything i don't even know if she can even define it maybe she watched an episode of lost in space <laughs> and, and and followed robbie the robot but uh, i don't know man the scary thing is uh, what you said there's no one in the white house who could work with this issue remember the social media uh, hearings <laughs> well, when they oh, had the right. guy from Facebook and like, you, they didn't even know what they, they didn't know what they were talking about. <laughs> They're too old to talk about this stuff. And she's just having a great time. She doesn't care. I mean, if Biden can't understand it, Kamala can't understand it, Kaylee, who would you put there in charge of this meeting? I mean, I can't understand it, but like the Venn diagram loving Veep, like she's got it. <laughs> she's no, got no it. one believes that. Even Elon Musk, like one of the most brilliant people says, hey, we got to put a pause to this till we get our hands around it. I mean, I learned on, on Outnumbered today that they can interpret thoughts, apparently, some AI, like read your thoughts. They can read my mind? Yeah, read your mind. What like, I imagine if right I knew now, what you were robot. thinking about what everyone are, at the table. What am I thinking right now? They're waiting for something to download. They're thinking <laughs> big if true. Big, big if true. Right, imagine this administration, like, being able to read American people's thoughts. Like, very uh -huh. scary. Yeah, they'd resign if they could know what we were thinking. How do you interpret this? I mean, this is a, you know, big step up in her portfolio. So I actually thought that this was just getting to do this meeting and that it wasn't a portfolio change of any kind. Oh, she's not AI czar? I, that's my understanding. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought she was czar. It was a thing for today oh. to do this and to convey the administration's concerns, obviously, about... Already backing away from it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> no, but I, maybe I'm... Uh, I could be wrong about this, but that, that was my impression. So when the robots start killing us, Biden can blame Kamala. No, She I was in charge. You know, I don't think it was that serious. I think it was a meeting... 
I think either he had a schedule conflict or she said, I would like to do this. And he said, that's schedule completely conflict. <laughs> he hasn't been seen in days. That's well, there, you know, the price is right it's is true. on at 11 a.m. And then he has his nap. But it is a big deal, right? Yeah, this is, it should, is, but why shouldn't the vice president, I get it, that you want to mock her, but she still is the vice president. Why shouldn't she be involved in this? And she has done a good job on really serious issues. I mean, if you saw her at the Munich Security Conference, she did a wonderful job representing U.S. and, frankly, democratic morals and values all across the world in our defense of either supporting Zelensky and what's going on there. So she's oh, yeah, not she some bimbo. Me. I, 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 I get it. it. It's like <laughs> she, cru she crushed it. Absolutely. She I got did. this T-shirt. You crushed <laughs> Munich and it has Kamala on it. All right. Well, a beer I'm, garden. Okay. Beer garden. <laughs> I'm still curious about why Joe isn't in the meeting. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.